When you think about physical therapy, you may be skeptical of how it actually works. You may be asking yourself, is physical therapy really worth it? If you're unsure of physical therapy and whether it's the right solution for you, you are not alone. During this video, we are going to address some of the doubts you may be having by showing you some of the science behind physical therapy. Understanding the science behind how and why physical therapy works will help you gain confidence in your decision to seek out an expert for treatment. Hi, my name is Scott Saul. I'm a physical therapist with EW Motion Therapy. I've been a practicing physical therapist for 24 years. Today, we're going to discuss what functional movement is and how a physical therapist uses individualized corrective exercises to help restore functional mobility when it's been lost and to help a patient achieve successful mobility so that they can move on with their life. So there's a big term that's used in physical therapy these days called functional movement or functional mobility. What that basically means is when a physical therapist is going to evaluate you, they're gonna look at the total picture. They're not gonna just look at where the source of the pain is coming from, but they're gonna look at all the possible reasons why you may be having a pain in a certain part of your body. So for example, if you come to see a physical therapist for knee pain, the therapist is not gonna only look at your knee. The therapist is gonna to wanna to look at everything above the knee and everything below the knee because we like to say that sometimes the knee is stuck in the middle with nowhere to hide. If there is an issue down in the foot or the ankle, that can certainly be contributing to knee pain because of a dysfunction of mobility or stability in the ankle. The same thing up above. If the hip is weak or the hip has some tightness issues, that's going to directly contribute to possible knee pain. So when we talk about functional mobility, uh, we're going to look at everything that can be contributing to a joint where the source of the pain is located. When you come to see your physical therapist, your physical therapist is going to look at you as a unique person. The physical therapist is not going to give a one-size-fits-all exercise routine. The exercises must be corrective, which means when we find the dysfunction, we wanna change that dysfunction. We wanna provide you with structure, strategy, techniques that allow you to exercise to make corrections to where the mobility deficit is located. A corrective exercise for hip weakness might involve a position that the therapist puts you into, which will, what we say, load a certain joint or load a certain muscle group. If there's instability in the knee, with what we call valgusing or a movement that seems to be excessive, a corrective exercise is gonna be something where there's an emphasis placed on the hip muscles to control what's happening down at the knee joint. So the therapist will put you in positions, ask you to move in certain directions, maybe reach in certain directions to load muscles where the weakness is identified with the intent that as we correct that weakness, the knee mobility will be much more stable, uh, it will be much more appropriate, and it will be much more in line with safe movement. Thank you for watching. Physical therapy works well when there is trust combined with a personalized approach. A great physical therapist understands that building an environment of positivity, encouragement, and trust is essential for a patient to see that they are making progress. If you would like more guidance on how to find the right therapist for you, click the link below to watch our video on how to choose the right therapist.